Picture this. You've delivered a client the project you've been working on. It's been a month and they still haven't paid you. They aren't replying to your emails and you can't get a hold of them and the stress is starting to kick in big time. Then suddenly you see your photos online blown up with a horrendous filter and you immediately think, Now I know that the last thing that you wanted to be doing when you became a photographer was dealing with legal jargon and annoying paperwork. Trust me, I get it, I've been there. The first time someone told me that I needed a contract, I just looked at them like, um, okay. I am so glad that I've actually implemented a contract since the very start of my photography journey because it saved me a lot of heartache, stress, nerves, you name it. It has saved me all of that. You need a contract to protect yourself, your business and your work. It is a make or break. You need one no matter what. And although it may not be exciting as taking photos, you do need one. Another benefit of implementing a contract in your business is that it helps you establish you as a professional. Clients will look at you more seriously and they'll know that you know what you're doing. Having a contract is an essential part of running a photography business. Now I will be giving you my top five things that I would include in a photography contract and these to me are essential. Number one, project scope and description. Clearly define what services you'll be providing to the client, such as what does the project entail, number of photos, turnaround time, length of the shoot, number two, payment details, the most important, let's all be serious. In this section you want to specify the total price of the project, any upfront payments that are needed, the payment deadline, and even any interest fees on late payments. Number three, copyright ownership and licensing rights. Oh my goodness, the amount of photographers that actually just completely disregard this when working with clients. It is key to protect your work. You need it as a photographer, as a creative. Anyone who creates work for a living needs to specify who owns the images and how those images can be used. Number four, cancellation policy. Outline what happens if either party needs to cancel the project. For instance, will an upfront payment be refunded back? What happens if anyone cancels? And number five, indemnification. Protect yourself from any potential legal issues by outlining who is responsible for any faults or damages that may occur during the shoot. In case you're wondering, I don't include any injury liabilities in the contract because my insurance includes everything from any injuries that are made on shoot, on location, or any injuries made in studio. However, including this is completely up to you and it really differs on a case by case basis. Every photography contract will inevitably be completely different based on the type of project that you're working on and the different client requirements. Despite this being the least exciting bit about your job, you've got to have your own back and protect your business no matter what. And on an exciting note, I have just launched the Camera Academy and I have included the contract template that I use that has been put together with the help of a legal professional and it has saved me on many, many occasions, as well as a guide that explains all the different legal jargon and definitions of the clauses. So make sure to go and check that out if you're interested. Let me know in the comments below if you've always used a contract, if you've never used one, but now you're going to start to. I always, always love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you very soon.